Brennan asks me. So let me go to my column of questions that are stacking up here. Um, and Brennan asks me, the first question is, uh, and thank you, Brennan. Can I be fired if my boss says that I'm required to take the, as in whichever one it is, vaccine? Would I have a claim if it's against whatever belief I have? So the answer to your question is, I think your boss can fire you if you don't take a vaccine. Now, it depends in a way, right? There's never a black and a white. But for instance, if you're a restaurant worker or a frontline health worker and and COVID is so easily communicable, and we know that in some people there can be relatively little symptoms, but some people can die. So that so the 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 the, the results of COVID or the consequences to sequela from COVID can be profound, as profound as they get. Um, yeah, absolutely, they can they can do that. Because now, if you are sitting at home working, um, and your boss says that, that's less of a tie-in. But you know. Remember, under Missouri, Illinois, and most employment law across the nation, an employer can fire you for a good reason, a bad reason, or no reason at all, or make a mistake. Brennan, let me give you an example. Let's say your boss, you, let's say you work at McDonald's, and your boss finds 100 bucks missing from the cash register, blames you, and fires you. The next day, the boss finds the $100 bill stuck to the bottom of the register. He was wrong. He doesn't have to hire you back. A boss, it, 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 the, the, they can fire you for a mistake. If you do not have an employment contract, a written contract signed by both parties where you they agree to employ you for a period of time, there are employment contracts. Most people do not have them. It's called employable at will, or you're terminable, or they can terminate you at will, or you are an at-will employee. Those are the words, the magic legal words. They can fire you for a good reason, a bad reason, no reason at all, or a mistake. Now, there are state and federal anti-discrimination laws. So they can't fire you because you're uh, uh, a minority, uh, because you're African-American, because you're a woman, because you're old, because you have disabilities. There are certain protected classes where have been created because those people have been historically discriminated against. And so that's why Congress in its infinite wisdom has provided those protections that are 50 or 60 years old now. Um, so they can't do that, but other than that, you don't have a lot of protection. Um, would I have a claim if it's against whatever belief I have? No, you don't. I mean, do, do, can you can you not? Get, I mean, if you want to be an anti-vaxxer, you don't believe in the uh, this other stuff. I mean, you know, I, I don't think you have a claim. There's certain jurisprudence, for instance, um, on the other way, there's the Hobby Lobby case that Josh Hawley, our senator in Missouri, tries to claim he was associated with. I don't know if that's accurate, but uh, I think he was on the brief. He signed on the brief, or his name's on the brief, but they didn't argue it or anything. But um, so in that case, an employer cannot provide contraception if it's part of their plan. So it goes that way, but I, I don't think it goes your way. 